All right, guys, let me show you a quick, I don't know if it's quick, kind of quick, uh, tip for diagnosing the idle air control valve in your 3VZE 3.0. Um, so this is the throttle body right here. And there's four bolts there that take it off, as well as you gotta take off some of these lines and stuff. But I'll show you this over on the bench. So here's the throttle body. And the hose coming from the air cleaner comes in like this and attaches right on here. And then for starters, you can see in here, there's, let me get a light. Hopefully we can see this a little bit better. So see that big old hole right there? So that's part of it that allows air to go around the actual um, throttle plate there. And then there's another hole here on the back side, which goes through right there. So you can see my finger in there. All right, and usually this is your actual your idle air control valve. This just does not want to play today. Stay put while I dump all my bolts on the floor. Jeez. Um, all right, this is the actual idle air control. And this has a little plate. So you're used to seeing it with that plate on there like that. And I'm messing with this one, trying to see if I can get this apart. So far, I've had no luck. Some guys on the internet have pulled this apart, cleaned it, and then tightened it up a little bit more. Because there's apparently some wax in here, somewhere inside this tube. That when it gets hot from the coolant that goes through there, the wax melts and, and modulates the valve with the coolant that goes through these lines here. So when these go... As far as I know, Toyota does not make replacements for these, so as they fail, what's left in the junkyards is what we got. So, is this the future end of the 3.0? Is this part that you cannot get? Um, but figuring out how to fix these, if possible, is the way to go. Anyway, let me show you. I'm getting too wordy here. Let me show you how to diagnose this. All right, let's go to the car. Typically you'll have a variable idle or a high idle complaint. So this is fully warmed up. You can see over here I'm over a thousand RPMs. And that's definitely not where I want to be. So, and it didn't used to be that. So don't go messing with your throttle screws and all that. You shouldn't have to change any of that. If it changes, it's because something changed, right? Something, something isn't functioning the same as it used to. So we don't want to go turning throttle screws yet. Let's see if I can balance you over here somewhere. Like I showed you over on the bench, you have this here, and you can see this that hole we were talking about, right? So, you want to block that hole off with some tape. Use some very sticky tape. I'm using Gorilla Tape, something very sticky because you don't want to suck tape into your engine. You want to cover that hole completely with a piece of tape. 
Now you can see the black square tape is covering that. So we put this back on. Now we see what happens. See? Big difference. Now my throat, now my vital's almost too low. It's under 500 with a fully warmed up engine. So, yeah, that tells me my idle air control is not functioning properly. So, and this will affect drivability and miles, so miles per gallon, all that kind of stuff. So, I need to either find one and replace it. I might try that one on my bench or fix the one I have so I'm not sure what that's gonna look like yet but that's that's your diagnosis there so don't forget to take the tape off thanks for watching guys I'll see you later